If you advertise on Google Ads, Performance Max is very popular right now. And even though this campaign type relies heavily on automation, there's still some things that you need to know if you're gonna run this campaign. In this video, we're gonna discuss what asset groups and listing groups are as you set up your Performance Max campaign. If you're ready to get smarter with Google Performance Max, let's dive right in. Hi friends, my name is Scott Redgate and I'm passionate about helping small businesses make more and spend less and show you that you have everything that you need to manage your own online marketing campaigns. Today we're going to be talking about the differences between asset groups and listing groups. These are two key terms that you'll want to know as you set up your Performance Max campaign. All right, so we're gonna talk about asset groups versus listing groups. Now, an asset group, this is Google's definition, an asset group is a collection of creatives centered on a theme or related to a target audience. The creatives of your asset group are used to assemble all of your ads and build an inventory for all applicable ad formats for your advertising objectives. In simple terms, an asset group is what you upload and what you input into Google to create a performance max campaign. So that includes your final URL, that includes the images that you upload, your logos, your videos, your headlines, your long headlines, description, call to action, and a business name. So this is the asset group creator. And another part of an asset group is an audience signal. And an audience signal is used to reach the right audience faster. So basically you give Google a starting point by uploading some first party data, so data that you own, or you can select from some of the audience that Google has created. And that can help them get to learn uh, your business a little bit quicker. Now, here are some of the specifications for the asset group. So as we said, you have a final URL, so you can add one final URL. You can have up to five headlines. You can add up to five long headlines, four descriptions, one business name, one call to action, and two display URLs. Now here are some of the specifications for some of the images that you can upload. Um, so for example, the landscape image, here's the size here, and you can add up to three of those. And then they have the, the specifications for the square, uh, portrait, um, and your logos. So now a listing group. So within your Performance Max campaign, uh, campaign's asset group, you can specify which products you want to be served up in your Performance Max campaign ads. Listing groups are made up of listings which currently include both products and collections. So your asset group is the creatives behind what you are, are creating for your Performance Max campaign, whereas your listing group is essentially just a segment of products that you want to advertise if you are in e-commerce. So let's say that you have an apparel store. Uh, you can create a listing group uh, based on the division of your products. So you could have a listing group for shirts, pants, jackets, hoodies, sneakers, hats, etc. Now, one thing to know about Performance Max campaigns is that your bidding is done at the campaign level. So what that means is that if you set a target return on ad spend, that is done at the campaign level. So you cannot do that at the listing group level inside of the Performance Max campaign. You would have to separate it out and have multiple campaigns for it. So now within a listing group, you can use your Merchant Center account and you can segment it based on category, based on brand, item ID, condition, product type, channel, or you can set up custom labels for your product so you can really slice and dice it however you would like. All right, so that was pretty simple, right? So you've got an asset group, which is simply what you upload and what you input into your Performance Max campaign. And then you have your listing group, which is the segment of products that you are looking to advertise inside of Performance Max. Now, if you're looking for advice on what you should do as you're setting up your Performance Max campaign, I have a video that shows my top tips for setting up a Performance Max campaign, and I'll link it in the description below. 
I hope that was helpful for you. If it was, I have a free gift that I want to give you. It's my seven day online marketing jumpstart. If you've ever started out in digital marketing and wondering where do I begin? How do I get started? This is the document for you. It's a simple PDF that you can complete in seven days. And once you do, your website will have a solid foundation for years to come. And I would be honored if you would take the time to like this video and subscribe to my channel so I can keep creating content just like this. Thanks for watching. Until next time.